Hey there guys, this is uh, Outcast of Society here from Hack Forums. Um, I used to be Austin73k, and uh, this fucker right here, he uh, he ratted me. So, I didn't know what file it was. He told me it was some cryptor thing that I downloaded. I don't know how he knew I downloaded it, because I guess it was just a really popular source that was going around. So, um, he's for Auto IT, so he's like, you know, oh yeah, it was the Auto IT cryptor. Um, so I was like, oh damn, so I ended up deleting it. Uh, I think I got it back, though. Um, and I scanned it and it was clean. Anyways, so, um, so yeah, what happened was I got really into uh, Skype crashing basically and you know mass messaging and stuff. And I started making an application. Um, first, it started off as a, an email bomber, and I was like, you know, I could do way more with this. So I added um, a, a SMS bomber, which has I think 214 car uh, carriers now. And then I added a uh, Skype messenger, which would all send out a, a message or multiple messages, uh, up to I think a thousand, um, to each and every one of your uh, Skype friends or selected amount, however many uh, you want. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so you know, it's a really boss application. And so, um, I uh, I found this like little Skype crasher thing, and I found it about you know two days before he ratted me. I don't know exactly, you know the time frame but you know somewhere around there so uh, when I ran it yeah it worked out really good I even saw other people using it on videos and were like holy shit dude it actually works so I was like alright yeah okay I'll go ahead and give it a shot and I didn't run it in um, sandbox or anything partially because it was in uh, you know it was in a RAR file so I just didn't want to extract it at that time which I definitely should have and I should have scanned it because it's not even FUD um, but I just want to show you guys really quickly the whole point of this is to show you um, one way that I found uh, where you can um, actually I'm going to show you a couple things uh, one how to try and see if you can get rid of them uh, get rid of any rats and um, also how to uh, check if something is even if it's cryptid sometimes it will sometimes it won't you know it all depends but uh, I just want to show you this anyways so let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you the first way. First way is to open up um, your rat. It doesn't matter what you're using. I'm using Dark Comet. This is the one I prefer. Um, and go ahead and make uh, a server, but just make it listen to 127.0.0.1, which if you run it, it's going to open up on whoever's computer runs it. So it's like if you send it to your friend, it would run on your friend's computer and it would connect to his computer, not yours. So it's not like a, a real rat, it's just a little. Uh, thing. I mean, you know, I guess it would be. And don't put any other settings um, for now. What you could do, and what I usually do, is I um, first of all make sure you change the name of this uh, just to testing123.exe. Uh, and I'm going to do persistent installation. And I'm under module uh, shield, I'm going to do a persistent process. And um, that should be good. And you also, yeah, obviously, you want to make it start up with Windows. And uh, I'll go ahead and put it in the temp directory, and we'll go ahead and run it. And I'm going to call this safe.exe. There it is right there. So let's go ahead and run it. And you'll see that it connects to your own computer. It won't be your IP address. It'll show 127.0.0.1. So go ahead and double click. We're going to go to the system functions and go to the remote registry. Uh, right click and hit refresh. Uh, open this up, and we're going to go to current user. That's the first one we're going to use. So we can go ahead and either open this up a lot and also that too. I'm going to close this data type. It doesn't really do much. I want a lot of the uh, the data in there. Anyways, so uh, once we have this, if you keep hitting refresh, you'll see that it gets more and more. It's just, uh, it takes a while to load. But the one you need here is uh, software. And then we're going to go down to Microsoft. We're going to go to Windows. Uh, current version and uh, go down to run there you go there's also a uh, run service you may have and run once run once is, is literally run once this right here um, you can see since I added it to the startup uh, it's the uh, c slash user slash austin slash app data slash local slash temp uh, slash msdcsc slash testing 123.exe which is exactly what we used so when you remove this you can hit delete current key and click yes refresh it should be gone for uh, a few seconds and there we go it's right back because it's persistent so that's how you can tell um, and then once you do that you can easily find the uh, the uh, 
name and the com the complete directory to it. So all you do is you either you know you can do a couple of things. You can go and just delete it right from Windows, um, or if that doesn't work, you can open up you know another operating system, Backtrack or any other freaking Linux ever, um, and you can delete it from there. Um, and that way there's no uh, UAC involved at all. Um, so yeah, that's that's one way. Um, and also uh, one other place to check is instead of current user, go to local machine. And again, just refresh. I'm gonna hit refresh a couple times only to just to wait a few seconds. Um, so everything else can load up, and then uh, same thing. Shit, was it software? Yeah. All right. Then we're gonna go down to Microsoft. Uh, there's a lot more in the local machine. Windows. Uh, current version, and I think this one actually has the run process, not the other one. Uh, all right, maybe not. So run once, run ex. All right. So in this one, there's not too much stuff, but this is all like mostly important stuff. This will happen no matter who opens up the computer. Usually, when they when you're at it, it's usually in the uh, current user, not the local machine. But this is obviously a very good idea to check, anyways. So this one was the first one I saw. It was like PWRISO VM. I don't know what that means. So I looked up here. You know, it's Power ISO. So I was like, okay, good. I mean, I, I just didn't put two and two together. Yeah, now I can see it's Power ISO. Switchboard, let's see. Uh, oh, it's Adobe, all right. Adobe CS6 Manager, again, Adobe. Anything, you know, that I that I recognize, common file slash Adobe, that's all good. Um, default, I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if I should have deleted that. It doesn't appear to have any values. Um, Adobe Acrobat, all right. Let's just make sure it's the correct file. Okay, so good file server. Um, actually, I'm going to delete this because I, I don't want that starting up every time. It's kind of annoying. Um, yes. All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, delete value. Oh, that's what you have to do. You have to delete value. Not delete key. All right, anyways. Uh, quick time, so that just uh, checks if there's an a, um, update for quick time or something. Uh, APS daemon. There was one in here for like uh, some stupid uh, booter, or not booter, uh, cryptor that I, I guess I bought. I mean, I bought a few cryptors, but I guess that one was still in my uh, thing and it said, like, you know, do you want to re register or whatever? So, uh, no. Anyway, so again, yeah, that's a really good place to check. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the exact file. First of all, I'm going to run it in Sandboxy um, to show you guys, and actually I'm going to make sure that I, I don't ruin this stuff, just in case that happens again. Um, because even if you run it in Sandboxy, um, I've done this you know, with friends obviously testing out anti-Sandboxy stuff. Since I got into making my own cryptors, um, I, I got more and more and more into advanced like stuff like that. So um, that's why, yeah, anyways. So here's his file. If you see anything like this, uh, delete it and do exactly what I'm doing um, just to make sure so run sandboxed and under programs and I have a free sandboxy so I gotta wait five seconds let's go ahead and run sandboxy control while we're at it and this is what it looks like it does work um, the only thing is it's uh, obviously ratted so if you can separate it awesome my hats off to you I hope you use it uh, it's a very very good tool if it weren't for for that although it doesn't work too well with the newer versions but uh, the one I'm making it does uh, slow so far um, let's see if I can uh, open that up for you guys um, it should it's almost done except he fucking ratted me again and he pulled up the chat box or whatever the little uh, mini chat box uh, where you can't close out or anything so that's when I started doing all this uh, and I figured all this stuff out so yeah anyways um, so I was almost done, and I don't, don't know if I saved it. I hope I did. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go navigate to that thing I showed you. Actually, I'll just show you. Um, let's see. What is it? Uh, software. Microsoft. Windows. Current version. And run. All right, just to make sure that it's not in there again. So um, that's the file, and what I did was uh, you, I opened it with Resource Hacker, and I could not believe it. R bind. What do you think that is? It's gonna be a binder, right? So there's Crypted USB.exe and Skype Crasher 2.exe, and this tells me a few things. One, um, he has 
he binded the files. Um, two, he had the original Skype Crasher file. He copied it and he copied it again. Uh, and this is the copy of the copy. So, and then he has the uh, encrypted USB. So, first of all, we can open this up, and this is the hex uh, version. So, this uh, program cannot be run in DOS mode or whatever. And you can see that this is all pretty much cryptid. Like, there's nothing really important that you can get out of that. Uh, really, this either. This is pretty much the same file, but um, I wouldn't say this is the same. This is this is cryptid. Uh, the, the sub, the stub. I mean, um, or I believe it is. So. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. There's also CRC data drop in temp. So yeah, this is saying uh, it's gonna drop it into the temporary directory, which is how I know. So let's go ahead and go to our our temp folder. Um, just go to a random one. Sorry, hold on. Uh, temp. So uh, we know that the file is going to be in here. I'm just going to look for um, Skype. Skype Crasher 2, there it is. So all of these are uh, ratted. How terrible, man. I'm stupid. All right. Uh, open all these up with Resource Hacker. And again, there's our bind. Um, this one, God, that's just terrible, huh? Let's go and delete all those. Uh, search for Skype again and now I'm gonna search for crypt cryptid usb.exe I'll delete all these alright and this is the only reason um, I, I, I have to do this is uh, I don't have antivirus because I make viruses and cryptors and stuff and obviously uh, while I'm testing it I don't want them to get deleted that would be freaking terrible <laughs> if you know you're a virus maker if you have antivirus and you get caught every 30 seconds and then it, you know, quarantines in and you can't get it out and you're like, oh, fucking son of a bitch. And you can't do anything with it and it's completely pointless. So, uh, and also it's a hassle to you know, have to do that every time. So search for uh, stuff like that. Follow my steps. Um, it's worked for me every time and make sure you uninstall your server um, when you're done. And that's good. So... I actually never never saw I did see this percent ten percent but I never knew what it was I mean I, I know what it is it's a uh, environment variable um, in batch technically but you know it's uh, just DOS commands and but I never took a look at it let's see exec e that appears to be something in the registry editor where it changes it to one um, that's my what my guess would be um, I actually do kind of like that icon though. Ooh, I like that a lot. Why don't I say that? Oh no, it's a. I just want the actual icon. Save icon group. Uh, Skype. Awesome. Anyways, so um, those are the steps I use. I'm gonna go and delete that file. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think of that. I I. Uh, yeah, I, I probably should honestly get some um, stuff. Uh, antivirus. Sorry, I'm focused on this. Uh, I hope to God I saved it. So yeah, uh, again, follow those steps and it should turn out pretty well for you. Um, hopefully you guys... Okay, good, I did save it. Hopefully you guys, uh, it works for you and I, I really honestly hope the best because I just hate getting rad. It's the worst feeling ever. He messed up my hack forms account. Which um, sucked. Pretty much all I can uh, all I can say about it. It was just terrible. And uh, so yeah. Anyways, uh, sorry I've been kind of going on. It's 2:30 in the morning here. Um, I just wanted to put this video out really quickly to show you guys all the dangers and stuff. Um, but uh, thanks guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you guys for for keeping this up. And uh, yeah, you guys are really awesome. So um, I will see you guys later.